Hafs ibn Riyadh says, Imam al-Sadiq salamullah alayhi has said, Ju'ila al-khayru kulluhu fi baytin. All of good has been put in a room. وَجُعِلَ مِفْتَاحُهُ الزُّهُدْ فِي الدُّنْيَا The key to that door that contains all good in it is what? الزُّهُدْ فِي الدُّنْيَا Zuhd, when you check in the dictionary, means إعراض, تارك, leaving it. Leaving the dunya. All of the good that God has created is in one room, the key to it is leaving this dunya. You want any of the good that God has prepared? The key to it is zuhd fi dunya, leaving this dunya. Then he continues, ثم قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله This bit of it is very scary, okay? And it explains sometimes why people like myself do not have the real feeling of spirituality. They have superficial feelings of spirituality. What is it? It says, the Holy Prophet has said, لا يجد الرجل حلاوة الإيمان في قلبه A person is not able to feel the sweetness of Iman and faith. There's supposed to be a very good flavor Iman is supposed to be enjoyable. Amirul Mu'mineen enjoyed faith. The Holy Prophet enjoyed it. Those who have it enjoy it. Ayatollah Bahjat enjoyed it. I wish I could take you and you could see the house of Ayatollah Bahjat what he had in Qum. A very, very small, tiny house. Believe me, if Ayatollah Bahjat wanted this world, wanted this dunya, he could have had loads. Khalijis would come just to pray behind him. All he had to do was to allow them, not ask them, allow them to buy him something and they would buy him 50 homes. But no, very small, tiny house in a very run-down area of Qum. But he says, if the kings in the world would be able to feel and taste the flavor of two rak'ah speaking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they would leave everything they have and come and have just two rak'ah of prayer with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They enjoy it. We're here scratching our head, why the heck am I supposed to pray? Why am I forced to do this? Why am I forced to pray? These people, they enjoy it. The Holy Prophet says, a person will not feel the taste of Iman in his heart till he does not care who has how much in this world. My friend, my family member, my peer, they have this, that, the other, and I have this little bit. This other guy has that much. This guy owns this company. If you care about that, you're really not going to taste. That's very difficult. 